Hey guys, have you heard that there's a way to save energy in digital logic, uh, even up to maybe 15x, uh, but at least, you know, 5x? We've implemented that, that method on, on a 10 silica Hi-Fi Mini uh, on 40 nanometer. If you guys want to see what what's up, what's this is about, so, so let's look at it a little bit. So here on this slide, I have a curve of, of digital logic energy and performance. Uh, this is just generic uh, logic, but it could be a DSP or a processor, uh, going up to like one gigahertz. And on the orange curve, you have the performance. So, so you see one gigahertz and here on the lowest end, and you still have like a 10-ish megahertz. Uh, then at the same time, you see energy here on the blue curve. And, and uh, for this whole range, you, I, uh, here you have a 14x difference uh, for that energy. Uh, so, the good thing is when you have modern processes like 55 to 28 nanometer, uh, you can still get very good performance uh, for, for uh, the IoT type of, of uh, applications. So, so, you're always on voice wake up, your BLE, your crypto and so forth. So, so you can get the 10, uh, few tens of megahertz around this range. And one good thing about this, if you look at the, the uh, performance curve, it's quite steep, but then uh, the energy curve is quite flat. So, so you can really play with this range and, and save energy all the time, but get a wide range of performance. So, so let me show you how that goes. Let's say you have a generic IoT device, which you're doing audio and, and maybe even if you have the performance, you might want to be doing AI on that. And, and here you have the curve that I've been talking about. So those, this is the energy curve. So, so BLE, audio, AI. If you have a conventional processor or DSP, you'd be doing it something like this. So, so you'd be running it as fast as you can, then, then uh, putting it to sleep, then again, waking it up, putting it to sleep and so forth. Uh, when you need a lot of performance, there's no, no uh, bad, bad thing about this. But when you don't need that performance, you're really losing a lot of energy uh, here for those cases. Now, there are some, some uh, alternatives on the market, which gives you uh, really good energy, your, your conventional low power cores, and, and they'll minimize the energy loss for, for those cases. But Usually, they're quite rigid in, in the performance uh, range that they give. So if you need a lot of horsepower from them, you might actually be, might not be able to have it. But the method we've used really gives you all of this. So, so you can really optimize for uh, every single usage case and just use that much performance that you need and minimize the energy loss and you can still put it to sleep and so forth. So we've implemented this, this on uh, a 10 silica Hi-Fi Mini uh, with the Cadence Digital Flow. And, and you really have some numbers here where, where you can drop uh, from maximum performance down to a few megahertz and, and get multiple Xs of, of uh, energy savings here. So I guess the computer now says that I'm out of time. So, so thanks guys for listening. And, and if you want to hear more, check out our webpage at minimaprocessor.com uh, or send us an email and, and we'll be happy to tell you more.